This is the drag and drop builder. Let me give you a quick overview before we continue. Here's the top bar. The top bar allows you to go back to campaign on the left, shows you the name here, has your undo and redo option, which you can use command Z or command shift Z. There's also version history here you can click on to roll back to a previous version if you made mistakes along the way. On the right side, you have desktop view and mobile view mode, which you can click on or easily shift between by clicking shift D for desktop and shift M for mobile. When we get to the point where we wanna check our email out, how it would look in an email client, you can click preview and test and it shows you. And when we're done here, we'll click save and quit. On the top right, there's also a drop down menu for more options. On the left side navigation, we have three sections, content, style, and AI. Under the content section, we have three tabs, blocks, which contains your addable elements, sections, which are pre-built groups of blocks that you can grab and drop in, and then saved, which is where any sections that you create along the way that you save will show up so you can reuse them again. Under style, we have access to edit our brand library and assets. We can modify the template and background color. We can modify text appearance with the fonts. We can modify buttons, which we'll do in a bit, and we can update spacing. Lastly, there's an AI assistant, which is built in and makes it nice and easy to quickly generate paragraphs, titles, or even create buttons quickly. Let's go back to the content section. Let's start by clicking on this placeholder image and adding an image here to welcome our viewers. On the left side, click replace, and then let's add an image. I already have one here that I wanna use, this welcome image. Click insert, and I wanna move it up to treat it more like a banner, so I'm gonna click and drag. The purple line will appear to show you where it's going to land, and now we have this layout. There's an empty block here, so I'm going to delete that. I can click on it and just hit delete on my keyboard. And then let's create a nice header here. I just wanna say, hello, and let's personalize it and add their first name. If there is no first name attribute, let's say there, add an exclamation point. And then let's center the text. Now, I need a welcome message for this paragraph under the header, so I'll use the AI assistant to get me started. I'll type a short prompt and click generate. It gave me more text than I need, so I'll use the reduce content button to simplify it. Then I'll drag the block under the header, delete the old paragraph, and edit the text to give it the tone and message that I want. Lastly, I'll center align it to make it match the header. Great. I don't want this header or paragraph here, so I'm just going to click to remove them. And then let's add an image from our conference here. Highlight over this image and then click replace. This is a hypothetical conference, so I'm just going to search for business conference under the stock images tab in the content library. And let's add this one here, insert. Great. Now we need to replace the text in this bottom section. Let's say, what can I expect from this newsletter? Next, I need some more text for this bulleted section. So I'll use the AI assistant again to get me started. After giving it a prompt, I'll ask it to make the tone friendlier. Then I'll drag the block in, edit the content, and reformat it to look nice. I'm also going to center this header. Next, I'm going to restyle this button, but I need a good call to action. So I'm thinking I'll welcome new subscribers and I think I'm gonna to try to get them onto my website by offering 10% off a product. Let's go to content, sections tab. Here's one. I like the look of this section, so let's click and drag it in right under the button there. I'm actually going to offer a 10% discount. I'll say save 10% on your first month. We don't actually need this header here, so we'll delete that. And let's drag this button in. Clicking the button and then going to spacing on the left, I can see there's a lot of padding at the top and bottom. I don't need nearly that much. Let's just do 10 pixels of padding on the top. And now this text and the button are much closer to each other. Also, I want to change the style of the buttons overall so that they have white font instead of black font. I think that looks better. So I'm going to go to style on the left and let's change our overall button style. Under buttons, we'll click this black text next to the font. The hex code for pure white is FFFFFF, six Fs. We'll click out of there. Now we have a white text for our call to action. Let's click on it and update the text to say, in all caps, claim your discount now. Let's expand this button by clicking and dragging so that the text all fits on one line. And let's change this font up here in the paragraph to something a little bit more exciting. Let's 
increase the size to 18 and let's make it bold. This looks much better. Lastly, let's add a link to the button. So we'll add a link to the Cloverleaf Audio landing page here where we're gonna offer this specific deal and click insert. You'll also want to double check your footer. Make sure required links like your privacy policy and unsubscribe button are included and functional. These are essential for compliance and building trust with your audience. If you need to make changes, you can edit the text or update the links directly in the footer block. Once everything looks good, you're ready to move on. I'm going to make just a few more style changes, updating the section at the top so the background color is a nice gray to make it stand out from everything else, and then just adjusting some header font sizes to give it a weight that feels good. Lastly, I'll click the social icons at the top, remove any platforms that I don't want using the trash icon, and refresh the Instagram field to pull that URL in from my brand assets. I'm pretty happy with this email, so let's preview and test. And you can choose who to preview this email as. I'm going to type my email in, and this is how it'll show up if it lands in my inbox with my first name populated in that first name variable. This looks good, so I'm going to click send email test at the top left, search for my contact information, and send test. Here in my inbox, you can see how the email looks in my email client. You'll notice that the Pacifico font is not usable by this particular email client, so it was important that we set that fallback font. This still looks pretty good. Overall, I'm happy with this. If you want to remove this tag at the bottom that says sent with Brevo, you'll need to upgrade to a subscription plan that supports that functionality. Overall, I'm happy with this. Back in Brevo, I'm going to close out of this email preview. Before exiting out of here completely, let's go to the drop-down menu on the top right and save this as a template so we can reuse it again. We'll name this template conference welcome email, then click save as template. In case we want to reuse a section in the future, we can save it. Click on a blank space in the section and then click the save icon. The section will appear under the saved tab in the content menu on the left, ready to drag and drop into this email or any future campaign. Overall, I'm happy with this. Let's click save and quit.